share whatever uh, we have with as many people as we can. Shalom and bracha, everyone. I would like to share a few thoughts on Parashat Vayhi and focus perhaps on one theme in the parasha, which may have direct ramifications for bringing about the gula, hopefully this evening. We read in the 49th chapter of Breshit, in our parasha, Vayikra Yaakov el Banav, Yaakov, Jacob calls together his children, Vayomer, Hey Asifu! Yeah. Gather together, assemble together, and I will then tell you, If you join together, I'm going to reveal to you that which will happen to you at the end of days. What does joining together have to do with the fact that Yaakov will now reveal to them what's going to happen at the end of days? Anyone? Ideas? What's the connection? In gathering the exiles. I'm sorry? In gathering of the exiles. In gathering of the exiles, absolutely. And, and why is this connected to Acharit Ayamin? So, Rav Simcha says, because that's the message of Acharit Ayamin. According to one reading in the Midrash, what is Yaakov teaching them? He's teaching them the secret of Mashiach. What's the secret of redemption? bringing everyone together. If you will accomplish hey Asifu, if you will join together, he had many children and many tribes. Hey Asifu, if you will be able to be joined together, then you are on the pathway to Acharit Ayamin. Then you are on the road to the eschatological perception and prophecies of, of Tikkun Olam. For as long as we separate from each other, for as long as we're not working together in unison, there is no acharit ayamim vision. But the moment we get to hey asafu, if we can join together, you don't have to join together to just everyone be the same. You can join together and Ruvain can remain Ruvain, and Shimon can be Shimon, and Yisachar can be Yisachar, and Dan and God, everybody can, everybody can express themselves in, in their own ways. But we have to be together. Hey asafu, and then we'll get to Acharit Ayamim. Yaakov calls together his children, and he teaches them, according to the Midrash, Rabbanan Amrei, this is in the Midrash Rabban, our, our parasha, Tziva Otan Ala Mahloket. He taught them, he commanded them, to distance themselves from disputation. To distance themselves from fighting with each other. Amar Lahon, Tahon kulchon asifachat. Join together. And I believe that one of the messages that we have to learn from Parashat Vayechi is that there is legitimacy in all of the tribes. And that's why Yaakov calls each one and blesses each one and tries to encourage each one and tries to guide each one. But nevertheless, besides the fact that you have individual needs, which the fact that you have an individual tribe, you are all part of the family of Israel. And I would like, with your permission, to perhaps read some of the uh, teachings of the rabbis on how strong and how powerful unity is. It says in the in Midrash, in several places, that when the Jewish people are together, even if they're involved in sinfulness, there's a certain divine level of protection. In the language of the Pasuk, in the book of Hosea, Chavur Atzabim Ephraim. Anachlo! Chavur Atzabim Ephraim. Chavur means? Chavur? Join. Join together. Chavur Atzabim. Anybody know what the word Atzabim means? Idols, idols. Idols. As we say in the uh, Tehillim, we just said it. Many times. Ephraim is joint for idolatry. I think the simple interpretation of the text is 
The Jews are so connected to idolatry. Anachlo! They're, they're hopeless. Don't, don't, don't even bother with them. Anachlo! That's the pshat. But the rabbis say, Chavur Ephraim? If Am Yisrael is Chavur, even if there's Atzabim, even if there's Avodah Zarah, Anachlo. The language of the, of the Midrash. Kishatem mechubarim yachad. Then that's the end of the Jewish people. That's Yaakov's message to his children. Just be together. Afilu of day avodazara. I can't explain the sentence completely. I could try to translate. Even if they're involved in idolatry. Vishalom b'nehem. But there's peace between them. The Midrash points out that the word he'asfu, gathered together, is a form of a synonym for purity. In the language of the Midrash, Tanchuma, mahu he'asfu, itaharu. Purify yourselves. Kainyan shenemar, as it says about Miriam, she was, she was excommunicated from the, from the community for a certain amount of days, and then she's brought back in a state of purity. You know, Tisager, Shivat Yamim Michutz Lamachane, Viachar, Te Asaf. Afterwards, she will be gathered in. The Ishbitzer writes, the Ishbitzer Rebbe writes in Mashi Loach, that gathering together, that's purity. Te Asafu, the reason why Te Asaf is used there, the reason why gathering together is used as a form of purity, when you gather together with your nation, that's the ultimate level of purity. Wouldn't it be beautiful? Maybe this is the ideal week. Could you imagine if we were just all joined together? There are so many programs. There are so many programs. There are tens and tens and tens of programs for overseas students in Eretz Israel, for instance. Wouldn't it be beautiful if we just all joined together and prayed together? That's not, that's not complicated to, to put together. Wouldn't it be nice if on Parashat Vayichi, all of the synagogues, all of the shuls, all of the Batei Knesset, all of the Batei Midrash, all of the institutions, they, they just all gathered together. And they all read. Maybe, maybe that would be the introductory reading. We would appoint one, uh, one, one uh, Baal Kriya, one Shriyat Tzibur. Vayikra Yaakov el Banav Vayomer Hey Asafu! Vagid alachem! Eit asher yikra etchem b'acharit emir. Vayikra Yaakov el Banav! He's calling his children! You're my children! Okay! You, you. Every child is different. And despite all the differences, maybe, maybe we could all join together. As it says in the book of Devarim, Banim Aten you're all children of God. Don't 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 break break off into into, into uh, uh, separate groups. We can all be together. I hope that this is the Shabbat. Is, is, is it doable? No, I mean you look at me like I'm. I'm a, it's not doable. What, 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 what's so funny? I don't understand. We, we can we can bring we can bring Moshiach according to this midrash. We could bring Acharita Yemim just by, by, by joining together. If we emphasize all that, all that we agree on, and there's so much that we agree on, we could all beta safe, Rashayam, Yachad Shivtei Yisrael. If we do that, then uh, way before Shabbat, I hope, Bezrat Hashem, we will experience Acharita Yemim. We will experience the, the Mashiach this week. Thank you so much for listening. Maybe we'll pray Marif, and there's also, Baruch uh, Hashem, there's plenty of food.